Well, over the years, we have all been entertained mightily for those of us who have followed the International Space Station. And good Lord, the internet is just full of the strange things that we see coming from this spacecraft. So I was in a discussion the other day and was really kind of unaware how many people are not aware. So I thought, well, why not? Why don't we do a quick little show and some of the more highlights of the more interesting phenomenon coming from the spacecraft. So in this picture here, I want to draw your attention to two devices, actually three. There's this up here. Now, these are not normal solar panels. Uh, you're going to see later. Also, this is what many think to be potentially um, part of this artificial sun. Not sure. And then there's this unit down here. Now, this will be important as we advance here to see. So, this is... You can go on there, uh, go up to Upstream Live, and you can see these pictures quite a few times during the day. Now, here's our device. I want you to pay attention to here. Again, look at here, as I told you earlier. So the sun comes over. Now, it's completely blocked by this, which I find very odd, uh, because simply that the sun is a very bright star. And even when you try to put your hand up there to shield it, right, you're still going to get the outflow of light. Well, not always in space, apparently. So we see this, and everything looks very normal. Again, watch this here. You're going to see how things begin to play out. Now, very normal picture, right? The camera up here isn't any special camera. It doesn't have special filters on it. It's pointed out there. It sits in a little box, literally, on a ledge on the uh, ISS. And they've got them throughout the whole spacecraft. But watch what happens here. Are you starting to see it? Check that out. I have no idea where that color is coming from, but we've seen it before. And... It's quite beautiful when it does happen. So this was actually sent by a friend who, uh, she's very diligent on watching the International Space Station. And we're here in what we call the Twilight Zone. This is what I like calling it. Anytime this craft is down by Antarctica, uh, we a lot of times get cut out for whatever reason. So again, pay attention to this, what looks like, uh, to be a solar panel. Now, watch this, folks. So, these are moving. What you're about to see here is spectacular. So, they're moving these into shape, into position. Now, watch. Let me go back. Just so you know, it's now coming over. You need to watch this area here. I think that this is part of an artificial sun. You can see watch this. All it was was right from this. And then this has always been a source of one of those, what are they doing? Why are we getting this plasma reaction from the sun up here? But now, this I captured and I've never seen it since because I believe that I captured a malfunction on the artificial sun. And I'll give graphics as to why I think this. Here is why we think that we found the smoking gun on this. Number one, I don't know what this device is. I believe it's the device that we saw earlier. I do not know what this is. Uh, whatever it is, it absorbs and 
refracts light off of it. In this event, we saw a breakdown of the device itself, and you'll see this even more. Next frame, we're seeing literally debris coming off of whatever this artificial sun is. And I do believe that this is one of several artificial suns. Again, you're seeing a glitch in the system. This is actually debris coming off of the sun. Well, not the sun, the artificial sun. You can see again that they're shooting light of intensity up here and we're getting the reaction of it. And here's where you really begin to see the breakdown. You clearly see that there is a tremendous light source beam coming up here, hitting this panel. This panel is actually smoke, in which how can you have smoke in space? So here's another one. You think that we don't have a mystery here? Here we have two artificial suns going at the same time. Now, you can say, well, that can't be. I agree. One of these is not the real sun. Maybe neither one. We, we can't have two suns. But again, here's this strange panel. And, and the power for this, whatever they're using, is enormous. It's just, just it's mind-boggling. So let's just continue. This has been one of my favorite pieces. Now, when I captured this, uh, this was literally almost two years ago. I've not seen it. I've seen variations, but I've not seen this particular one. This was an event that was phenomenal. This was the light that it wasn't caused by the camera. This was the color of the light. And you can see it everywhere. It's refracting and reflecting off of the space station. This light was just un, well, undescribable when I've seen it. I, I, I was going like, well, what's going on? But you can clearly see how it's backwashing everything. And here you go. I pulled out so you can actually see this for yourself. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you can see as it goes down, look how it begins to have this reaction, this green. Watch. Is that beautiful? And you can see how it's those panels again, the strange looking material up here. And here it is, and it's full. Look at this. Is this not just the most beautiful color? And you can see the intensity. So I always found this one to be very interesting. It's one of those, like the two suns that I showed you. Very unusual. You can see that the sun is coming up. This is the earth. The whole station, everything was bathed in this light. And there you see the sun coming up. You can see how it begins to change it, everything to a copper color, right? It's just gorgeous. So anyway, just thought you might like that little uh, review and certainly welcome to capture the picture frames if you want. It is a beautiful experiment, whatever it is. All right, be kind to one another.